Lesson 2. Sorting and Grouping Data Part 1. Creating a View Open SQL Server Management Studio and create the view. Execute the query. Part 2. Creating a report. Launch Crystal Reports from your computer start menu. Click File, then click New and select Standard Report. In the available data sources pane, click the plus sign to the left of the SQL ODBC, type password and click OK. Click the plus sign to the left of the car transactions, click the plus sign to the left of the DBO, and then click the plus sign to the left of the views. Add the V transactions view to the selected tables pane and click next. Add all fields to the fields to display pane and click next. Click next twice and then click finish. Switch to design view. The spacing of the columns isn't the greatest, but you can adjust them manually and do some other formatting. Press and hold down the shift key and select all fields. You can change the format of the sales date field to eliminate the time information. Click Preview tab to display report. Press and hold down the Shift key and select all fields. Right click Sales Date field and click Align and then click Tops.
One way to make titles stand out is to enclose them in boxes. Draw a few vertical lines. Draw one horizontal line. Part 3. Sorting Report Data Click the Record Sort Expert button. In the Available Fields pane, select Surname, and click the Greater Than button. Do the same for Car Field. Make sure that the sort direction is ascending, and then click OK. The report's records are sorted first by surname, then by car. Part 4. Grouping Related Items
click the Group Expert button. In the available fields pane, select Surname, and click the Greater Than button. Then click OK. Insert box object. Part 5. Inserting Summary Click the Insert Summary button. Summarize the price field, use the Sum Summary operator, and choose Group 1 for the summary location. Do the same for amount field, and then do the same for value field. Summarize the price field, use the sum summary operator, and choose grant total for the summary location. Do the same for amount field, and then do the same for value field.
Part 6, Inserting Minimum, Maximum and Average Click the Insert Summary button. Summarize the value field, use the Maximum Summary operator, and choose Group 1 for the summary location. Do the same for minimum and average. Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Visit learnwithvideotutorials.com learnwithvideotutorials.com Interesting video tutorials free lessons competitive prices